first night of the open tonight. <clears throat> I'm feeling really tired. <laughs> I've been doing it for seven years. And not to make an excuse, but to kind of make an excuse. I basically did this workout yesterday, not knowing that this was gonna be today. My workout had about 90 dumbbell snatches and 90 burpee box jump overs, so that's tough. And I'm just nervous because I get too competitive with this stuff. Um, Meryl, how do you feel? Are you nervous? You will likely fail. It's gonna be fine. I've got about two hours before I go to Long Island City. My body does not feel well, but I'm gonna take some pre-workout and everything's gonna be solved. So that's it. Boop. Okay, I uh, just had a little bit of rice because I don't have any oatmeal left. I had some orange juice with creatine and now I'm having a little uh, pre-workout before I head to Long Island City. I wish I wasn't so nervous. Why am I nervous for something that doesn't matter? It was exhausting, but I'm happy to have the first of three done. Miss Miro, can I say hello? Just, oh, hello, daddy. So I just got chirping chicken, which is right by my apartment. So basically just rice, salad, and chicken breast because we're doing our protein challenge right now. And I hit my 112 grams today, so this is what it looks like. Delish, not too expensive, but very good food. So now watching some Veep and then bedtime. Okay, so the second workout of the Open was just announced. It is a 20 minute AMRAP, AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible, of a 300 meter row, 10 deadlifts at 135 pounds for women and 185 pounds for men, and then 50 double unders, so jump roping. And this workout um, is very, oh, can you hear? This workout is a little terrifying to me. 20 minutes is a pretty long time and deadlifting is not my strongest movement just because I'm pretty tall and generally strength movements like that are just not like my perfect wheelhouse. I'm a pretty good rower and the benefit of this workout is that it is a lighter deadlift weight than it normally would be. Normally this would be a 225 pound barbell for me, but for whatever reason they decided to go lighter this year I think so we could be a little bit speedier. And so I'm just nervous. I think it's gonna be a good workout, but 20 minutes is a long time. You gotta pace yourself. So I'm gonna get there early and warm up and have some rice beforehand and a little pre-workout drink, which I don't usually have, but kind of fun to have before a little competition. Uh, and then we're gonna go. It's great. Hands off the rower, guys. Hands off the rower. Three. beautiful day. I have the third open workout this afternoon. So we'll see what that is. It's gonna be announced in a couple of hours. But first, I'm meeting Kyle, who edits all of these videos. He's been my editor for like the past, I think four years. We've never met before and he's in town shooting something. So um, we're gonna meet and it's gonna be so great. Okay, so I just got to the gym. I ate some rice that I packed and put in my backpack. And now I'm having a Celsius before I hear what the announcement is for the workout. My prediction, and I will probably be totally wrong, but is dumbbell thrusters and ring muscle ups. That is not only my prediction, but also my hope. And yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a good workout. I'm feeling a little fatigued. I've had some stomach problems over the past two days and we're just gonna do our best with this. My friend Nick and Ishal are coming in to judge me and it'll be a great time. I'll let you know when it gets announced and then we'll get to the workout. Okay, it was just announced and here's what we got. We got five rounds of 10 thrusters at 95, 65, and 10 chest bars. Then when you finish those five rounds, you have one minute of rest. Then you're going to do five rounds of seven thrusters at 
135 or 95 pounds, and then seven bar muscle ups. And there's a time cap of 15 minutes. So I'm pretty excited for this one. I need to get my gymnastics in order before we get started. I need to warm up the thrusters, the heavy thruster. I think we'll be fine, hopefully, for sets of seven, but it'll be a good workout, that's for sure. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I needed a little snack because that was horrible. And I really do look worse for wear after that one. And this is my little prize. It's me. Oh, right. nope, it's the cookie. Okay, so it's been about five days since I finished the open and I needed a few days to reflect. This open kind of was the least part of my brain from the past seven years that I've done it. It really just felt very low key, which was great. But I do have some reflections that I want to kind of think about. Workout number one was that snatch and burpee workout. And I think what's interesting about it is that in previous years, that workout would have been outside of my capacity. And what I mean by that is that I would have had to have taken more rest. I would have had to have been more strategic about how I wanted to break it up and how I wanted to make sure that I wasn't kind of like redlining and then not being able to continue as fast. But this year, my fitness was in a place where I could go straight through the workout, not take any rest and just go at a consistent tempo and be able to finish it. And yes, I was definitely close to not being able to maintain that pace. You know, in that second set of burpees, when I got to the set of 15s, I was very nervous because someone said, you know, hey, you set a pace, now you have to stick with it. And I was like, shit, I don't think I can do that. And somehow I was able to, which was cool to kind of see that that workout was in my capacity when in previous years, I don't think it would have been. So I was pretty proud of myself for that first workout. Workout number two was the rowing, deadlift, and double under workout. And I liked this workout, I just made a mistake. And I've been doing CrossFit for over 10 years now, so one of my strengths is not strength, but instead actually being able to game workouts really well and know my body. So I thought I had a good tempo there and I think that it was smart for me to break up the deadlifts, but I've tripped on my double unders a lot and I should have been pushing about 10% harder throughout the entire 20 minute workout. 20 minutes is kind of like my domain. I love that time domain. And when I got to the end of it, I was like, ugh. Yeah, I pushed really hard at the end, but I should have been pushing a little bit harder throughout the entire workout. I also looked at the video from this and I was super ashamed because I was looking at my deadlifts and they look absolutely fucking horrendous. And I think this is definitely something that I've worked on over the years. I've always had a little bit of a problem with stabilizing my back in a deadlift just because I've got long levers and pretty tall and I've gotten much better at that. But in a workout, sometimes I revert to old ways and I didn't have any idea how much I was not bending my knees, which meant that my back was looking like this. And I hate that. I was very, very not upset with myself, but kind of upset with myself about that on review. I think I could have fixed this simply by warming up better for it. You know, if I would have really engaged my hamstrings and my glutes beforehand, and I would have worked up my deadlift a little bit more beforehand, I think it would have been problem solved. But yeah, definitely did not do super well in that workout. And I was pretty bummed by just the quality of it. And then lastly, we had this um, thruster and gymnastics workout that normally would be like 100% of my wheelhouse and was just not. I was pretty sick the day before and the day of. I had a stomach thing going on, which definitely kind of takes some of that energy away. You know, you just don't have nearly as much in the tank. Oh God, uh, when you have a stomach thing going on. And so I felt like I just didn't have the energy, even though that workout absolutely should have been a workout that I finished. I went through the first half of the thrusters and the chest bars really quickly. I finished it in 444. And then by that time, my legs were already cramping. So when I was like jumping up to the pull-up bar for my muscle ups, my quads were cramping when I did that. And the heavy thrusters just felt really heavy. So I haven't had a workout like that that made me feel that bad in years. I felt so bad and I am still unbelievably sore like five days later, my quads are like cramping every time that I like take a step. And I don't need to repeat that workout ever, you know, especially because of the score. But I, I think that if I were to ever do it again, 
I would be able to finish it in the 15 minute time cap. I think I'd be smarter about taking more time in the first section and breaking it up just because you have the time to do so. And then I'd also do it on different pull-up bars because those pull-up bars are really hard to do muscle-ups on. And that's just not a weakness of mine. It's actually a really big strength. And on another pull-up bar that has a little bit more grip, I don't think it would have taken quite as much out of me. So yeah, I think overall, uh, I actually want to double check. The leaderboard should be pretty updated. So let's see here. And I am ranked 5,764th out of 177,224 people. And that is men. And that means that I'm in the 96th percentile, which means that I will be going to the next phase, which is quarterfinals. But I want to look at my past score. Yeah, so it looks like this is kind of cool. In 2020, I was 6,147th. In 2022, I was 10,685th. In 2023, I was 7,175th. And this year, I did have my best finish at 5,764th. So I have steadily, besides 2022, gotten a little bit better, which is really cool. Uh, this is my best year yet, even though I definitely was not training for CrossFit nearly as much, but that my fitness is still getting better, even though I'm getting older and I'm kind of nearing 30. So that's really cool. I don't think that I've done anything except for just like been consistent with fitness in general, not with taking class, but in, with running and doing different fitness modalities and continuing to take class when I want to. It's cool to see that my rank has continued to get better and we'll see what happens next year. I'm going to be doing quarterfinals and quarterfinals is usually six events. I think this year, uh, in the past, it's been over three days, but this year it might be over six days. So that'll be fun. And I'll record those because those workouts tend to be a little bit more higher gymnastics. I'm sure there's going to be some heavy your barbell stuff um, that I'm not gonna like as much but uh, I'm excited I always love those events a lot and it'll be fun to kind of bring you along for that so I hope that you will stay tuned okay see y'all